how are you doing welcome back to my channel I have another Dollar Tree haul for you with some long lost burned a lot of gas put a lot of miles in my car searching for these items some of these items so I had to break out my Vernacci okay because this is a joyous occasion I'm gonna save Valentine's Day finds for last this haul is uh, from items I picked up from my last walkthrough video that was uploaded. I never know the days of the week, y'all. Did I upload this walkthrough Sunday? <laughs> Today's Monday. No, I, I think I did it late Saturday night. I think I uploaded it late Saturday night, like early Sunday morning. However, uh, check the comment box, a link to that walkthrough just in case you didn't see it, is in that comment, will be in the comment box. And this included a road trip. We went to Raleigh this week and we went to the Chinese Lantern Festival. So you know I had to hit up two Dollar Trees and one of them was a Dollar Tree Plus. Trust me, I could have went to more, but you know, I spy was with me and he was not going to be happy about that. Um, anyway, um, so this includes some road trips finds and the video is I don't know 25 minutes and I think the last five minutes is the Dollar Tree plus walkthrough which they had a lot of Easter items okay let's get into this haul I'm just gonna start with pets because I only got one thing um I got Parker this pull toy he's into tug he likes it and they have these tennis balls on the end of it can you believe this was only a dollar at PetSmart Petco you're going to pay. You are going to pay. And this seems like good quality. So he'll be excited about that. Jumping into the cleaning section, let's just get that out of the way. I did go back and purchase more of these nail guard sponges. Now, I, I have been against these. I'm not going to lie. Just like the Oni lashes. I have bought them before. But now I like them. And when I went back and picked these up, I seen these. This is from Karazi super value and you get eight sponges so here you get six and my criticism is that these were um oh it says protects nails nail guard i don't i didn't know what it meant what they meant by nail guard but it says hand shape protects nails multi-purpose durable i never knew that guys this is, reading is fundamental so you get six then i seen these they're not as thick and these are not nail guard this is super value scouring sponges, okay? So I picked those up. So I won't need sponges in a while because I still have plenty of the other, not plenty, like three or four of the other ones. Um, always like to have extra ones on of these on hand. I love the Dollar Tree version of the Swifter. Okay, I spy, he's name brand. He went out and bought a Swifter, but I still have two, one on each level. And I love those pads, okay? These pads wash well, and you can't beat it for a dollar. This is a major wish list find for me. Now, it only holds two brooms or a broom and a mop, and it has a handle where you can hang a duster. But this was a long wish list find for me, guys. I searched high and I searched low. I even went on the website. So they finally got it. And on the back, it says, try I'm so sorry. I'm going to, I'm cooking. Um, and I also have the heat on. It's cold, y'all. So that's the noise you'll hear from the heater. I can't do nothing about it. Um, but it says, try our other tools. And something that I have not seen was the window squeegee. Maybe you have. Um, but this is their Swifter. Yeah, pretty cool. And how you use it, it comes with the sticker. And I seen a review and she said that it says the instructions say, put it up there, clean the surface, put it up there for 24 hours before you hang anything. But it also has two holes here. I think I'm going to use screws. I don't want to be bothered with that if it falls down. I don't. Um, so here's the hook. 
and here are the two broom things and how it works is I'm trying to show you then it grips it okay yeah pretty cool let me pause so I can turn this oven off sorry about that that's just your girl trying to do too much but yeah, so this was really, really good. So I bought a couple of them because of the two levels. So this is gonna really, really help me. And I'm happy. And I did, when I couldn't find it, like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and their like cleaning section, like where they have brooms and mops, they've had these. And of course they had ones that held like five or six things at a time. And, um, old cheapola here they're like $4.99 $5.99 $6.99 but I wanted to hang on for this so I, I didn't get them um yeah yeah don't judge me something else down the cleaning section they brought back the vinyl top liner and this is the faux marble print the only way you're going to see the print is if I open it for you because you can't really see it I know what it is because I bought it before but I want you guys to see. And I like to use these to line the top of my dress. Don't, I love it. To line the top of my dresser, on top of a microwave or something. Something that you can uh, just wipe clean easier. Look how pretty that is. I wish they had marble contact paper. And it's only 30 inches, but it's a dollar. Okay, so this is what you would call shelf liner. So you could line your drawers with this. Um, but yeah, so I got two of them. And you can't really see the beautiful marble pattern. Um, I put this on top of my toilets. And then I sit stuff on top. I don't know. I just think it's easier to wipe clean. I don't know. That's just me. But uh, yeah, I grabbed two of them. Haven't seen those in a while. Cleaning stuff, I got the Comet with Lavender. I shouldn't say I don't like something because then well, everything, I've been buying lavender creams, room sprays. You know what, I don't like cheap lavender. Maybe the lavender experience were cheap lavender substitutes that I found at Dollar Tree. I don't know. But anyway, I got one of the Comet with Lavender and Bleach. They did have other varieties. Refer to the in-store. I love the Chase Home Value cleaning products. And even my mother likes them because I share my Dollar Tree finds with her. And she said that bathroom cleaner, she had industrial strength bathroom cleaner. She said that bathroom cleaner did a better job. So I hooked her up with some. But this is a heavy duty all purpose cleaner, which I'm excited to try. Cleans, degreases, and shines ceramic tile, metal, and glass. So if I like it, I will rack up because I'm still seeing the bathroom and window cleaner and the furniture polish from this brand. However, you just never know. You might not see it again. And I want to find out if I like it before the 17th, doomsday. Okay, that's when the prices go up by me. So uh, I want to check that out. I'm going to use that tonight. Um, got another Surfside Rush from Speed Stick. I'm loving the Lady Speed Stick and also the Speed Stick Body Washes. Mr. Fuller, he uses this all the time. And I am going to go back while they still have it and get a couple of more bottles because those men's travel bags for Valentine's Day, I'm sending one each to my sons and I'm going to fill them with toiletries. So I want to give them, because they my, my, I don't know about yours, even though mine are adults, grown this is the last thing they don't worry about. That's why every Christmas they get underwear and socks. That's just not a priority for them. Soap, deodorant, that's just not. So I want to put deodorant, soap. They don't use straight razors. If they did, I would. And I found some men's body care items from Bath and Body Works. I was back there yesterday too, and I'm going today. Y'all, I have to stop. But they have things 75% off. Okay, seven. I'm paying three dollars and change for lotion. I have an in store order to pick up, and then I want to see if they have any more men's stuff. Three dollars and thirty cents for something that's sixteen fifty, thirteen fifty. I went through my inventory this morning when I got off of work, it was fun, and I went through everything. and I, I didn't have what I thought I had on a certain product that I like, so before it's gone, um, I want to get more, but I also found 
body care items for the men. So I'm making one for Mr. Fuller as one of his gifts. And for my boys, I want to send them, fill that bag up with items. So I am going to go back. This smells really, really good. It smells really, really good. Okay. Super, super exciting. I was in Dollar Tree. And I try to explain to iSpy because he wants to know why do you have to go every day? Why do you have to go to this one when you just were at that one? They all have different stuff. These items are from like four or five Dollar Trees. Do I wish I could just walk into one and find everything? Yes, of course. But it's not that way. So he, I don't, I don't know. I just, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. But guys, when I seen these bath rugs, I lost my mind. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When I seen Hearth and Home, I was thinking of the one from Target with the HGTV people. But I think they're Hearth and Hand or something. However, it does not matter. This is well worth it. Chanel bath rugs. They had four different colors. Refer to the in-store. I, I bought four. I bought two of the charcoal gray and I bought two of the light gray. And when I went to go see my mom, she already has them down in her bathroom. I'm filling up her house, but I told her she takes the stuff. Look at this bath rug. The back is like a non-slip. I buy these bath rugs all the time and never ever did I pay under six dollars. Okay, I got these for a dollar. A dollar. Okay, you can't beat that. They did have a moth pink and this tealish blue, which I probably should have grabbed because you never know. You might want to switch up your colors. And that morning, I was looking at my bath rug saying, I got to change my bath rug. But I, I want blue for now. Um, but still, I'm putting these up. And again, a gift. You can make a bath basket for somebody. It's just freaking, I, I couldn't believe it. Now, when she rang these up, they did scan for $5. But I got them for a dollar. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. God bless me. I got them. They were a dollar. Um, just random. I got this for my downstairs bathroom. I like to keep wipes in my bathroom. This is from Modest Basic Feminine Clean Cleansing Wipes. So yeah, I like to keep these in the bathroom. So this is for the downstairs bathroom. I'll save these for when I do that section. Down the hardware aisle, I I could have sworn I bought. You know what I bought? Not this. I bought those um, mounting strips from Super Glow. So I have to I have to put all of my stuff together. So when I go looking for something, it's easy accessible. I have stuff everywhere, and I hate it. I, I'm I'm getting there, but it seems like I, I'm I'm not getting there fast enough, or I'm bringing in more stuff before I organize the old. That's what it is. But yeah, so from Super Glow, I got the permanent mounting tape, and it says up to 20 pounds. Okay. I don't know if this whole roll takes up to 20 pounds. It says indoor, outdoor, moisture resistant, double sided. You can't beat this, so I picked it up. Okay, just a power box. I picked it up. Um, we need these now. This is going to actually go back in my car. This is antibacterial wipes. Okay, let's do food real quick. It's not a lot of it. This is a repurchase. I love this. Or you, you can add water or milk so it's either a half a cup of water or milk if i have milk i use milk but i have used water and let me tell you something now this is supposed to make a half a dozen maybe it's i'm um, heavy-handed i usually only get five muffins which is perfect i don't need a dozen muffins around here we don't so um this is the perfect size i love their uh, chocolate chip cookie mix they say they make a dozen I usually get nine cookies again when I I bought a cookie scooper and when I use the cookie scoop I got more cookies so maybe it definitely is my measurements but this is a good good find okay and the best by date is September 2022 so plenty of time but this is always a repurchase making breakfast is real quick to whip up muffins something I have not seen and in the end store you have seen that they had a pink frosting a blue frosting this cream cheese frosting and they had vanilla which they always have for Pillsbury now I have started making my own icing but if you don't have time to make icing or you don't have um, the powdered sugar to make your icing um, 
this is just good to have in the pantry. I don't even have cake mix, but you never know. You might want to put it on a muffin. I've seen people put cream cheese icing on muffins. Something that I was looking for, happy to find, from Old El Paso. And this Best Buy date is March 2022. The Japanese teriyaki one for the ones that are by me is February 2022. So I only bought one of those, but I bought two of these. This is Caribbean inspired jerk taco mix. Doesn't that look so good? Last week we did a taco night and I had a steak street taco. I know I was going to save those for the end store, but I just wanted to cook them that night and they were absolutely delicious. And I paid $5 for that taco kit, plus all the toppings. But still, this was a dollar, okay? So it comes with a medium pineapple pepper sauce, a mild jerk seasoning, and 10 flour tortillas, which I like flour tortillas. I do like those. So, um, I'm sure you don't have to do chicken. They did chicken, but I'm sure you can do another meat, but I got two kits. Easy dinner night. Taco Tuesday, whenever you want to have them. Mm, the seasoning, I can smell it through the box. It smells good. Let's get into cosmetics, okay? I'm going to try to go quickly, guys. I have a bag full of goodies. Finally, 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 you guys have heard me say I'm looking for the makeup from Ioni, the makeup bar, and I'm looking for the tools. And finally, it's like it hit all of the local Dollar Trees in my area at the same time, okay? At the same time, I'm just trying to put all the makeup together and the, I'll put the tools together. I did not buy everything, but I bought quite a few. At least of the makeup, not the tools so much. Well, <laughs> maybe. Okay, let's get into it. I don't use mascara a lot because I do um, false lashes. Some people put mascara on their false, false lashes. I don't unless it's a less than dramatic pair and I want to like add some volume but this is their dramatic black mascara so I picked that up only got one um when they did the makeup bar before I believe I bought a brow gel and I didn't like it so why would I buy this again I don't know this is tinted and non-sticky tame and volume I don't know I picked it up so this is a dark brown um brow gel and actually I think that was the only color they had I don't wear eyeliner, I used to, but I find when I want to, I don't have one. I have a brow pencil, but anyway, this is a pencil eyeliner. Sometimes I like a pencil, old school. You know, now they have those um, those retractable ones and stuff like that, but um, there's nothing, I like having a pencil, okay? So yeah, this is just a regular black, and it says it's waterproof, no parabens, precise black. So, got that. I got this matte lippy. It's a pretty color. Moth pink. Then I got this glitter liner. Long lasting and cruelty free. It's a silver glitter. Then I got this perfect brow. It's this little kit, all in one eyebrow kit comes with brow wax and highlight two colors of the brown um pattern so it's a mini kit so you got your wax your highlighter and then two brown powders another liquid lipstick this says long lasting matte finish ultra comfortable wear and this color is cranberry it looks more pink in the camera, but it, it's a cranberry color. The colors look off. Now, this is tinted lip balm. I hope it's not, I don't know. This says it's a tinted, um, tinted pink nude. I hope it's really nude because this is not my shade of pink. And then they have a warm nude. So this is just a lip balm. I wish they would have did more with the packaging. It's just really, really plain. But as long as it, it works. And the last thing I got from the makeup bar is this face highlight. I hope I like it. It doesn't look that shimmery. Like I like a shimmery highlighter, but you never know. 
looks can be deceiving okay so yeah that's all of the cosmetics I got and now let's go into the tools so this is a brow duo so it has um, the spoolie brush and the chisel brush and I use the chisel brush to shape them okay I don't really need the spoolie so much because I really don't have brows anymore and I usually just shave them off or whatever why I don't know I got these tweezers okay they did have the other lash tweezers refer to the in-store link is in the comments um yeah I'm gonna give these a try I usually use the traditional silver tweezers but these look like maybe I could work with them and then they have this concealer brush I do use concealer okay to highlight my brows or whatever like that so this is just a concealer brush then they have this highlight brush and let me take it out to see the texture because some of these cheaper brushes are hard oh this feels soft hmm. Ooh. this is the and i love i love i love it it says ioni on it i hope that that doesn't rub off because it's really really cute it's a really really cute brush Ooh, nice and soft. Maybe I might go back and see. They had, they did have other brushes. And then here is the Merit Compact, okay? And this was a wish list find. I really wanted to find this for Christmas. I thought it was square, but it's actually round, and it has that faux Louis Vuitton uh, packaging that they had on those lashes. I'm just trying to open it. Oh. With these nails, it's impossible. It's just a compact, nothing fancy about it. But you know what, if you need a compact, it's cute and uh, small, not too big. Okay, so it's cute. I love the packaging. It looks like, remember those old school buttons we used to wear? That's what it looks like. Really cute. So I was on the hunt for these guys heavy. And I did like their other products when they came out with that smaller makeup bar. I really did like it. So I hope that they keep these coming. I also got this green tea infused highlighter uh, pencil from Be Pure. So, I, I mean, I use concealer right now to highlight my brows, but I'll give it a try. Um other makeup products that I found from Be Pure, which is, in my opinion, the new Sassy and Chic, they have a lip collection, okay? They have the lip scrubber, which I showed you on the in-store that Sassy and Chic makes one. They have a mint lip sugar scrub, and it seems like you get a lot of product. And then they have a lip oil. And I will tell you from Global Beauty, I told you briefly on the in-store to I meant to tell you guys that I tried their lip scrub, the Gummy Bear Sugar Lip Scrub. I like it. But after I did it, my lips felt very, very dry. Well, they also have an exfoliating cotton candy lip thing that's kind of yucky. I, I really didn't care for that, but also I didn't follow the instructions. The instructions say apply it at bedtime. So if you did the lip scrub and then you put that on, maybe your lips will feel moisturized the next day but I don't know but I can tell you after I did that lip scrub my lips felt very dry so I think it's pretty cool that they give you a lip scrub and a lip oil so um you can do the scrub first and then put the lip oil on really cute we have Mother's Day coming up Valentine's Day coming up or just because bridal shower you know somebody getting married you can make them a pampering basket blah 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 you guys know Something that they had, and I wish I would have got the black one. I think I would take this back and exchange it. They have one with black. The brown is kind of not, like, attractive to me. Um, at first glance, I thought it was a wristlet, but they're calling this a cosmetic bag from Sassy and Chic. And I will tell you, it holds a lot. Now, I like a, um, I like a thicker, I mean, a, a clear cosmetic bag because I want to see what's in my bag. You know, sometimes you may think that you packed something if you have a clear bag you can see oh where's my tweezers where's my this i don't know that's just me i like a clear bag but you also can use this as a pocketbook insert 
have if you're like me especially when you have those tote bags things are all over the place you can put your wallet in there your phones in here like keep everything contained inside your pocketbook so it's not like all over the place and you're not digging you can just open this and get your keys you can just open this and get your phones that's just an idea you know that's just an idea something else i was looking for and this is not meant for cosmetics but you can use anything for whatever you want to use it for um, just because it says pencil case and that's what it says this was down the stationary section this is a road trip fine I've been looking for them they do have other colors but this is was just randomly the last one so it's just like the iridescent caboodle box that has the Mara but you know you might not want the Mara in everything especially if you're traveling and you're worried about you know the cosmetics moving around because they throw your bags okay have you ever seen them handle your suitcase um, you might not want a mirror uh, for that reason, you know. Um, you, you could fit your compact mirror in here, but this could just store stuff if you're traveling or whatever. You can use it for pencils. I don't know why they made this as a pencil case, but I could see you putting markers here, colored pencils there, or pencils, pens, different color. So I could see it that also, but yeah. So I would have gotten more if they had it, but this was the only one. So now we are moving into Valentine's Day. I picked up more roses just because, and I'll show you why in a second. So these are like roses that maybe haven't opened all the way yet. Maybe, you know, and then these are roses that have bloomed. So I got one in one. This is going back, but I will share with you. I'm taking this back. I'm not going to use this. Um, I'm exchanging it for something else okay I was gonna use this for a wreath that I'm making for the front door but I, it's, it's just not it so they usually have had this all year then when it was getting closer to Valentine's Day it disappeared okay and I said I hope they bring it back so they did so I'm I'm doing that five below wreath for my back door and and my decorations are down and now my door looks so bare it's had a wreath up there since November. So I'm going to be starting my Valentine's Day uh, wreaths, um, hopefully this week, because I want to get, I want to decorate. So, because I want to have my decorations up there for at least a month. You know, Valentine's Day, time is flying so quick. Before you know it, it's already January 11th. So um, I want to start working on my wreaths. But look at this wreath form. So this is going to go on my front door, okay? Um, I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos for some inspiration. I don't know. So, yeah. I got the deco mesh for this, but I'm not going to use it. Am I? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, y'all. But trust me, I will share. So, yeah. Got that. Now, remember, for those XOXO signs, I'm going to take that... Um, it wasn't burlap, but the twine that they have so you could hang them because um, I want to put them all together. And I said I need some lips. I originally got these clothes pins that had the lips and I was going to pop the lips off of them. But then on a road trip, I found all these lips. They have them in pink and red. They're wooden lips, okay? And then some are plain wood that you can paint really cool you can add glitter you can make them sparkle you could do a two-tone lip a red top a, a pink bottom i don't know um but yeah so i don't know which ones i'm going to use yet but i wanted some lips you can always add them to the craft part i also got these mini this is table scatter but i'm going to use this for my reefs okay these mini hearts I don't have a heart-shaped cookie cutter. I thought I did. And you get two for the dollar. So they brought these out Christmas by me. And they had a star. They had a plain round circle. And now they have a heart. And it comes with a spatula. Really cute. Um, not Valentine's Day, but I found this. And I wish i find more. Whenever I see, like, bling, stickers, and stuff like that, I get them and put them in my craft cart because you never know. You could add this to a vase, a plain vase, to make it look fancy. You, you could do whatever. So this is all that they had. Sorry for the glare. Look how pretty that is. I wish they had more. You know, so that's just craft stuff. 
This was a wish list find for me. These mini shadow boxes, XOXO. And this one said love. There's two more versions. You and me. And I think be mine. Refer to the in-store because I have them all on the in-store. So I thought these were the cutest. Pick those up. This, don't ask me why I got, and I, this may be going back. I, I, I don't know why I bought this. I don't really care for owls. My sister cares, loves owls. This is a cute sign, though. I don't know why I got it, guys. It's like I buy things, and then I, I question myself. So here is this tree with hearts and this little owl. It is very cute. I'm not saying it's not cute. Just like the gnomes. They're cute. They just get on my nerves. Um, <laughs> I see them so much. And the truck. I have a love-hate thing with it. So I got that sign. I think I may send that to my sister because she loves owls. This is an Easter find that I got from the Dollar Tree Plus section. And this could just sit on my kitchen counter. I'm not planning to do, just like I wasn't decorating for Valentine's Day, but I'm not planning to do... Um, decor for Easter. I mean, I don't have my grandson here. You know, I don't have a little kid. I might just put a sign on the door. Nothing crazy, but I got this for my kitchen counter. I don't, it was $3 and I think this is an excellent value for $3. It says blessed. So you have the bottle tree that they made into a carrot. You have this little house, you have eggs. I just think this is too cute. So I did pick it up. Just this in the corner on one of my on my countertop i just think that's enough for easter and then maybe something for the for the door and that's it so this is my dollar tree haul um check out the walkthrough because i don't buy everything i see and you might see some other things that you wanted but i'm very very happy that i finally can put some scratch some wishless items off the list because it was just like come on why like why can't we find these things i don't get it i i i, I still don't get it Anyway, thanks for rocking with your girl. So I have a couple of videos in the works. I want to start working on my Valentine's Day wreaths. I hope to have them completed this week, at least one of them. Uh, the round five below wreath, I think, is going to come together quickly. So I definitely will share that with you, um, my Valentine's Day decorations. And also, um, the reveal of my glam space. I'm like... 85% done and I'm loving how it's coming out um, hope that inspires you gives you some ideas again it's not a large space but it's my space it's my sanctuary if I would just want to go in there shut the doors search the web listen to music do my makeup um, I could do crafts there because um, I have the the counter space I could um, do more videos I would do more holes in that area but it just wasn't set up that way you know, it, it was nothing visual for you to look at in the background. You know what I mean? I just felt like I was in a closet. Even though my closet is behind me, I just felt like, you know, it just felt like you were in a space you weren't supposed to be in because it was just nothing there. I don't know. My husband says that I spent a lot of time downstairs and I need to focus on the upstairs, which I have done stuff upstairs, but he's right. I This has been my main focus. This has been, you know... I don't know, my dream living room and dining room. Um, so, yeah, now that's my dream glam area that I always thought it could be. So look for that video. That video is definitely coming out this week. And I have another Dollar Tree haul in the works. So I have some things coming up, guys. Thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. And, um, yeah, for my returning subbies, thank you. Thanks for coming back. You know how I feel about you. You've been rocking with me, and I appreciate it. And I will see you in another video.